Hi, I'm just um, having a thought about um, something, and that is something that I just quickly wrote. We live in a world today that man is against man, and everyone is against everyone. We need to stop and look around and see what we are doing. Open your eyes and see the destruction and personal wars happening around us and around people. Listen to the noise and listen to the people. How can we help? Do we help by denying this is ha not happening? Of course we need to be considerate of other people and be thoughtful. It's always good to be considerate and thoughtful of other people. And in closing our eyes and denying this is happening and saying this is not my problem. I have a family so why should I help? Sure family is important but what about the true family values? Do not, do not start, does not it start by living in the world in helping people? So does true family values come back to helping people? What did our mothers and fathers teach us of the 1930s and 1940s? It's about helping people. It's helping our extended family and extended people. Take a look around next time you're out and about. Stop. Stand still and just look around. You'll see people suffering and you may realise that people are suffering and need loving and caring. See how the world is busy and so disconnected as you go about, as they go about their busy lives. That they do not see that people are suffering and are doing it hard. As you look around you may see someone that you feel connected to. Go up to them and just say hello. You realise just by saying hello is caring and loving. Making someone's day and just saying hello. We need to care about people. Jesus says love people and help people no matter what. Jesus is not saying that you, you need to um, not consider your family but you also need to love everybody as a good Samaritan story says is love thy neighbor as much as yourself Jesus loves you and Jesus says be still and truly know me let's start giving and loving and sharing and caring so let's start giving loving sharing and caring and next time you're in a busy street, look around, stop, let your world go quiet and look around, see the people walking by, the little old lady or the little old man and wonder yourself, when was the last person someone actually had a conversation with them? See the young person walking by and ask yourself, when is the last time they actually talk with someone? going up to someone and just saying hello how are you and just making conversation you're making someone's day you're getting them to stop and realize that people do care and people do love other people we live in a world that is disconnected we live in a world that is full of busy people we get up in the morning we brush our teeth we have a shower we have breakfast we get dressed out the door and we go to work we do not have time in our busy lives because we're so disconnected with 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 the world and we, our eyes are so shut closed that if we're very much focused on this excuse and that excuse is we have a family so how am i supposed to help how am i supposed to help the the person you know, next time you go shopping and you see a little old lady struggling with something, you can go up and say, hello, how are you? Do you need a hand? She's likely to be loving and caring back to you and say thank you. And next time you're in Woolworths or Coles or wherever you are, just stop. Just stop and be quiet. The same way as Jesus says, be still and you'll know that I am God. Be still and you know that I'm God. 
Just stopping for one minute, sitting on a park bench, looking around your environment where you are, you'd realise that all sorts of people that usually as a rule you would not see because we are so busy and disconnected. We live in a world today that man is against man and everyone is against everyone. But we need to stop and look around and see what we are doing. Open your eyes and see the destruction and the personal wars that are happening around you and around other people. Listen to the noise and listen to the people. How can we help? How can we help people? Just buying, being loving, caring and sharing and showing concern. And showing concern is not getting involved in their lives but basically saying, hello, are you having a good day ma'am or sir? Are you having a good day? There's, they'll end up having a conversation with you and you will learn something new that you did not know before. And next time you go into a city like Melbourne City or whatever and you're at Flinders Street or Southern Cross train station or whatever, stop for one minute. Stand still. Listen to the noises. Connect to everybody around you and you realise just by listening and hearing there is a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. And to make someone's day and just to go, hello, how are you? Connecting with people is what I'm saying. We live in a world today, as I said, man against man and everyone against everyone and everyone for themselves. But I encourage people, I encourage people to start connecting with people. Don't be afraid that you're in coals and you see this mature age person or an older person having difficult with getting the bread from the lower bottom of the bread shelf that you can't communicate and go up and say how are, how are you um, would you like me to get that for you if you do it in the right way and you do it in a loving and caring way and you do it with the right heart and your heart is full of love and caring then she's going to have a smile on her face and you have given her a blessing that day because you have actually showed that you care and love and share. I'd like to share a story about my testimony about part of my life. I was in Brisbane City and I had to go for an appointment somewhere. And this woman was sleeping on the park bench and she would have been sixty five years of age. She'd obviously slept there all night and she's in the mall of Brisbane. And I just said to my partner, I said, have you seen this uh, before? No. We went down to the bottom of the basement or the bottom of the shops where we went to the toilet. And the way that the Holy Spirit and the way that God directs you is this homeless person walked out in front of me. And I knew that somehow I was led by the Spirit and I just walked and my partner followed me. And as I walked, I went back up to this woman. I gave her some of our lunch, because we had more than what we should have had. I gave her some of my lunch, and she said, Why are you doing this? And I said these magic words. I love you and I care about you. And that's the only reason I'm doing it. I gave her some other stuff, and I walked away and left it as that. The magic words is loving and caring. Can we stop? Can we stop for one minute and look around us? Can we stop for one minute and look around? Jesus was not disconnected. Jesus was well connected with the people. Jesus was the Son of God and Jesus was connected with the people. And when someone came up to him and said, Jesus like when Lazarus died. Jesus, you weren't here. If you were here, Lazarus wouldn't have died. And Lazarus had been in the, um, in the tomb, or in his coffin, for, in the tomb of the coffin, for about three, four days. And when Jesus arrived, he stopped and he listened. He stopped and he listened. And in his caring and loving and obeying his Father in heaven, he knew what he had to do and he raised Lazarus from the dead. Where is your faith today? 
Where is your faith today? We see that in John the Baptist, he preached about this. He preached about that we've got to stop and listen to our hearts. We've got to repent. We've got to turn away from our sins and turn towards God. And we also see that it's about if you have more than enough food, if you have more than enough of what you have, then you need to give. And if you are doing, you need to be happy and, and, and gratitude in what you're doing. But I thought I'd share this. We, need to, we live in a world today, men against men, and everyone against everyone. But we need to stop and look around and see what we are doing and what other people are doing. Open your eyes and see the destruction. The personal wars happening around us with other people. Listen to the noise and listen to the people. How can we help? That word help it seems to be such a big thing. Helping, is, helping someone is just by saying hello, how are you? Showing concern, being caring. And if you only stop and open your eyes and stop closing your eyes and shutting the world out to the point of saying, well, no, my excuse is I have a family, so why should I help? Originally, family values came from, original family values came from that you helped your extended family. You shared, you loved and you cared. But obviously there has been a more direction towards it. I have a family and that is an excuse in not showing caring and being disconnected from our community. Our family values going back in the 1920s and 1930s was loving, caring and sharing. And also a difference in respect. So it does not start by living in a world. It does not start by living in the world in, in not helping people. It starts living in a world in helping people. Being sharing and caring and just stopping and listening to the what's around you. Stop and stand still and just look around and you'll see people suffering and you may realize that these people are suffering and they need loving and caring and they are no difference to you. See how in this world is so busy and disconnected as we go about their busy life. People rushing madly here, rushing madly here, rushing off to work and for a minute they don't realize until it's too late until it's too late when the, when the time comes that we cry out to whoever we believe our maker is it's too late and i suppose that in a sense god is urging what i'm saying now through the holy spirit is we need to now repent we need to turn towards god turn from the things of this world turn from the things of darkness and look towards God and turn towards God accept Jesus Christ in your heart how do you do this well there's lots of churches around there's lots of pastors you can go to there's lots of other Christians in those churches that you can say hey I want to give my life to Jesus Christ today I don't want to be the things of this world anymore I don't want to be disconnected from the world I want to be Christ like I want to be like Jesus so we need to stop and look around at the world, everybody. I'm just going to leave it there, but next time you see somebody, and you can see from a distance, this mature age woman is having trouble with her shopping or what have you. Stop and look around and say, how can I help this person? How can I be of service to other people? Sometimes helping people is just by saying, hello, how are you? That's more than enough. It's showing that caring and loving heart. Open your hearts and allow Jesus Christ in. Turn from the things of this world and turn towards God. We need, you know, we don't want to be living in this world of darkness. We want to be living in the world of light. Jesus Christ loves you and he loves me. And all you've got to do is yell out to Jesus. All you've got to do is say, hey, Jesus, I want you in my life. And I'm sure that there are many churches out there. You may ask, how can I do this? Well, there are many churches out there that can help you. I'm going to leave it there.
but just start showing loving and caring and being kind.